This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLAG Network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, I have a Q5 copy. You're running S5 to S8, but that's direct. That's direct, as I do not have uh, the capability of an S, uh, SDR receiver. But I'm copying you very clear, very clear, no QRM. Once in a while, there's a big static crash down the right now. It is uh, overcast and uh, very hazy. Uh, almost foggy, but it's hazy. You can't see more than about a half a mile, and the temperature is around 69 or 70. But south and west of us, down toward New York City, they've had terrific rain today, and we're missing out on that. It's been dry up here for uh, over a week. Everything is dry, and we don't see any rain for uh, almost a week. I do have a recording I recorded last Saturday morning about 5 a.m. of a VK station 50 miles west of Sydney, Australia. And if you're copying okay, I'll give you an idea how he was uh, coming through. Do you copy, Jim? k one G Z L. Roger, Roger, Charlie. I've got a, a 35 over copy on uh, Milford. Roger. Yeah, 35 over copy on uh, Milford. Roger. Okay. Uh, here is this uh, fellow uh, down in uh, the name of Wayne, uh, down 50, uh, about 50 miles west of Sydney, Australia. Here he is. This is it, L. And VK to VRC. Okay, very good. Uh, I uh, I can hear you, and I've moved my antenna uh, up into uh, into your direction. Um, I'll uh, I'll give you a signal report on uh, on your next uh, transmission. Uh, my name is Wayne Whiskey Alpha Yankee November Echo, and my call Victor Kilo Two Victor Radio Charlie. I'm located about 50 kilometres west from the centre of the city of Sydney on the eastern seaboard. A K1GZL, VK to VRC. Yeah, K1GZL, VK to VRC. Very nice, uh, Charlie. Thank you for the, the nice signal report. You're 10 over 9 here, uh, so quite uh, quite strong. I, I can hear you. Um, I could hear you on the uh, the other frequency uh, when I was talking to the station in Portugal, but he was uh, he was very strong. And now that I'm pointed at you, you're uh, you're also very very strong and very very loud. So uh, nice uh, nice to hear you. Yeah, I think a couple of days ago uh, there was a coronal mass ejection, and usually. After we get a coronal mass ejection, you get the uh, the, uh, the aurora, and I believe the aurora spread uh, a fair way down south into uh, in the United States. And of course, then the, the band usually goes reasonably uh, quiet for at least 12 hours um, after the coronal mass ejection. So I think that's probably why the uh, the band was. Fairly, uh, fairly quiet a few days ago, but uh, it's obviously uh, very early in the morning uh, there your time. Uh, but it's not uh, not unusual for the band to start to pick up. Okay, I didn't mean to go quite so long on that, but Jim, was that uh, readable? Uh, KC9 VKV K1 GZL. Oh, Charlie, just perfect, buddy. Couldn't have been better. Just, uh, he sounded just wonderful, Roger, Roger. Been better. Just, uh, he sounded just wonderful, Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, thank you very much for that, uh, report. You didn't hear very much background noise interfering with it, did you? Uh, go ahead. No, not at all. Not at all. He sounded like, uh, a 50 uh, KW station. No, oh, he sounded just 
sound is like uh, a 50 uh, KW station. Well, it was running about 400 watts uh, to a, uh, to a, if I remember right, a, a three or four element uh, beam. Three or four element beam, I think, up about 40 uh, feet. Uh, 40 uh, feet. Uh, where they are west of Sydney, the ground is a lot of sand. Uh, a lot of sand in the uh, soil. Well, look, Jim, I'll let you go. There may be many stations that would like to uh, work you. And uh, and and in, and in the future, uh, we can think possibly trying uh, one day just for the heck of it on say 20 meters. Uh, I don't favor that area that well on 20. Uh, however, uh, it would work. It would uh, work in uh, mid afternoon, uh, mid afternoon around the same time. Uh, but uh, 20 meters has a tremendous amount of nets and groups on which we have to pick uh, our frequency very, very carefully. Okay, uh, 73, Jim. Thank you very, very uh, much. And uh, we'll hopefully catch you next uh, week. VK, uh, uh, no, KC9, VKV, K1GZL, Charlie. Hello, Jim. Hello, uh, Charlie in northern New Hampshire at Clarksville on the Quebec border of Canada. Always a pleasure, Jim, and keep up the wonderful work you're doing with the uh, fellow hands. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Thank you so very much for opening our show as, as normal and uh, uh, everything being equal. And the creeks don't rise. I will see you next, uh, next Friday uh, to do it all again. 73, sir. This is the uh, Friday afternoon Kiso Vilag Network. My name is Jim, KC9VKV, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And we are recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, and that will take you to our YouTube QSO VLOG page, where we're currently featuring over 2,700 QSO VLOG air check recordings. This recording will be cut number one in that series. So without further ado, let's open it up and see who's out there. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. <laughs> 